that's the problem with Amazon. You can get like 47 scrunchies for like a dollar when nobody needs that many scrunchies. She's a Mona Lisa. Everyone's lining up to see her. There must be something bad features. You'll find the beauty goes much deeper once you get to meet her. Hello ladies and gentlemen, we are back in the car and do y'all see what the fuck I'm wearing right now? I am wearing my favorite cozy fuzzy white pullover hoodie or sweater and um, it's fall ladies and gentlemen, it is fucking fall. It's only 70 degrees out right now. Ooh, 74. Maybe this sweater was a bad idea. I don't care. It's a little chilly. I'm living for it, so I put on my favorite cozy little sweater, and I'm very excited about it. So we're starting another video off in the car because I'm about to head out to either Home Goods or TJ Maxx or Marshalls or one of those stores because I am in the process of figuring out what I want to do with my makeup room, my studio, my office workspace room, and I feel like step one in this process, hold on, I, ooh, the hair was stuck in my lashes. I feel like step one in this, my eyes look so, they look like two different eyeballs right now. Story of my life. I feel like step one in this process is gonna be organizing my vanity because, well, decluttering and organizing my vanity. And a big problem I have in my vanity is that it's just a whole mod podge of shit. Nothing's really that organized. So I wanna go to Marshall's Home Goods, whatever, and get like those little like like drawer organizer things. I, have n I honestly have no idea what to look for. <laughs> I don't really know what I need, but I feel like it's one of those things that like when I see it, it'll come to me. Hopefully, let's pray. Hopefully, because that's the plan I have. Also, my nails. <sighs> Story time. Friday I went to get my nails done and they were really nice and long. The only one that had broken was this one, but they were looking ratchet because I had my gel manicure on for like three weeks at that point. But in those three weeks, my nails grew so nice and long and beautiful. And like their shape, they were perfectly like square, but tapered and like, they were just perfect, bro. Like they were the best my nails have ever looked shape wise, other than this one that broke. And I go to get my nails done and she's like, oh, do you want me to cut them? By the way, I went to a new nail salon that is across the street from the nail salon that I usually go to because I knew it was Friday and they were gonna be mad busy. So I went across the street and because the place I usually go to, their pedicures are like, aren't that great. Like they do fingernails, like amazing, but their pedicures are like subpar. So I was like, maybe this other place will have a better pedicure and they'll do my nails just as good. That was my hope. That was me praying. I mean, I only get a gel manicure anyway, so it's like, how can you fuck up a gel manicure that bad, you know? Like, if you can give me a good pedicure, I'll love you and I'll stick around. So I go, the pedicure is amazing. Loved every moment of my pedicure. Like, that girl went ham on my feet. Like, she really did the damn thing because I was really Flintstone in and out. Like, my feet were bad. They were fucking bad. So she really did that great. I had to soak off these gels and they did the foil, like they put the foils to soak them off. And I don't really prefer, I really prefer when you just give me a bowl of acetone to like wiggle my fingers in. I feel like it comes off better that way. And it's less intrusive than having metal fingers for fucking 45 minutes. Do the pedicure, soaking off the gel. They're like not coming off for some reason. Like, I don't know what the hell was happening, but like I had them on the whole time I was getting my pedicure, which was like, a solid 30 40 minutes and they still weren't coming off so i have the foils on she takes off the ones that are like that the gel have come come off and then she like reapplies them to the ones that are like gel still on and on this hand the pinky and the middle finger had didn't have the foils on so when she started to do my nails i went to the, like the nail chair she started to do my nails mind you this is like the head honcho like you know how the girl with the front desk at the nail salon is like the the best one either the owner or like the manager she's like the one every Everybody comes for so like I was like oh she's doing my nails we're good like she's the she's the, the head bitch in charge so we're good at first she's like do you want me to cut them I'm like you can just cut them down to match this finger and this finger was not this short at the time okay it was like a little higher up so it wasn't that bad to cut them so she files she cuts and files my pinky this is the only nail on my hand that I like and I was like oh that's pretty good like we're set and then she goes and does the middle finger which is mad fucking long like that my middle finger nail was really long it was a really good shape she just had to trim a little bit and then file it down this bitch goes ahead and gives me a fucking nub like I can't even so you see how like you can see a tiny bit of my nail 
from the back of my finger. I like that. But look at this one. You can't see any nail. Because she made it a fucking nub. She made my middle finger a nub. And then she like goes to do the next nail. And I was like, well, can you shorten the pinky? Because you made this one too short. So she's like, hold on, just wait. I'm like, hold on, just wait. Are you going to grow back my middle finger nail? Because it's gone already. You killed her. Then she, and, and then also she's taking like, an excessive amount of time to shape a nail that didn't need shaping. It just needed to be trimmed and then filed because they were already a gorgeous shape, a gorgeous shape. So then she literally spends 30 entire minutes just filing my nails, just filing my nails. And mind you, like I said, they were perfect. They didn't really, they just needed to be trimmed a little. So, and now I have these ugly little nubs. They're all crooked. They're literally all crooked. Like one side, this side on all of them, airplane this side on all of them is nice and square and then this side is like rounded so I have like a anyway that's my nail story I was there I was literally the last person in the nail in the nail salon because she took so long shaking shaving my nails like it was ridiculous like I really wanted to punch her but then she was like really nice so I felt bad but like she should feel bad for what the fuck she did to my nails <sighs> and I just hate being mean to I, I really don't like ugh, I feel like you're such a shitty person if you're like mean to like service workers like bartenders waiters waitresses like anybody doing a service for you I feel shitty if I'm mean to them but like also girl fuck on my nails I still gave her a tip, of course. That was the longest fucking story, but you guys love these things, apparently, so it's fine. Um, okay, so it is so nice and gloomy out. Like, I'm really fucking living for this weather. Like, do we go to Starbucks and get a pumpkin cream cold brew? Or even a hot drink, dare I say? Also, my makeup is looking lit today. Also, my hair, I washed it, and I put the product in when it was wet, and now it's still drying, and I don't know if I like it as much. But somebody called me out in my comments, so I was like, fine, I'll try it, bitch. I want to find the, the home goods in the rich neighborhood. Because, you know, those bitches don't be shopping discounts, you know. So, hopefully. Yeah, also, just like the, the home goods I usually go to, it's not that great. It's home mediocres, you know. Not home goods, it's home mediocres. Ooh, this one looks nice. Yeah, we're going to Clark. Ooh, Ulta is over there. We're going to head over to home goods. And we'll see what we get when we get there. Oh, my God. What if we find nothing? I'll figure out. If we don't find anything there, we'll just come home and I'll declutter my vanity with you guys and that'll be the video because that's really the most important. Like I really, that's what I need to do more, but I didn't want to be in the house anymore. So I was like, let's go to home goods. Fucking idiot. Okay, we're here and it's a lot more crowded than I expected. So this is gonna be awkward, love it. Okay, so I'm in like the kitchen organization section. I'm trying to figure out like these kind of things would work for a vanity, like, like these kind of things. I have no idea, honestly. I probably should have like took measurements, planned this a little better, but that's me for you. <laughs> they have a lot of cute kitchen stuff, honestly, truly. Let me, let me go see if they have like a vanity section. Is that a thing? I don't know. Okay, I was thinking of getting a pink love seat for the studio, but I'm looking at this. Don't mind the pillows, I don't like the pillows, but this blue little love seat sofa thing is actually super pretty. What do you guys think? Okay, the only thing I found that I may be able to use is this, but I don't really know like how I would organize stuff in like these compartments. Like nothing is really gonna fit in here, and then like this is still gonna be like a jumble of shit. So I don't really know. I'm not really having much luck. Okay, I found a few things in the like kitchen organization section. So now I'm just kind of trying to figure out like how they would fit in the drawers. I'm trying to Google and see what the dimensions of my drawers are. Um, but I feel like this could be good for like like concealer and powder or like foundations. I don't, I don't know. I feel like these are good though. These are like easier to organize than the other ones I found. And then these are like bigger. Maybe these would be good for foundation. I don't know, would foundation models fit in here, you think? I have no idea. Okay, you guys, after standing in the aisle for what felt like an eternity, I kind of figured it out. We'll see, actually, I'm not exactly sure, but I found the measurements of the drawer online and I kind of mapped it out a little bit in my head, but I got a bunch of container things and I actually had a return that I needed to do for home goods. So I had some money towards that, like to spend. Well, I already spent the money, but you know what I mean. I didn't have to shell out a bunch of cash right now, but I'm starving at the moment. So there's like some things in this little shopping park thing. Um, so I'm gonna figure out what to eat and then we will go home 
and get to decluttering. I'm stressed about it, to be honest. I don't know if I'm even gonna get it all done tonight. I might just declutter today. We'll see, we'll see how I feel. But yeah, for now, I need to figure out something to eat. And then when we get home, I will show you what I got and we will get to cleaning. <laughs> I don't wanna, I hate cleaning. But I'm actually pretty excited about what I got. Like, I'm excited for my vanity to be nice again because it's been a long time since it's been organized. I just have so much makeup to get rid of. Like straight up, like so much makeup in that vanity I don't even use. And I need to just be like really ruthless about it and be like, Ashley, you're never gonna use this. Like either put it in your kit or give it up. Like you're just not gonna use all this shit. Especially now that I literally do the same makeup look every day. Like there's no point. Uh -huh. Okay, you guys, I'm home now and I wanted to show you what I got. And, and then I also got an exciting PR package in the mail, so we'll open that together too. But, okay, starting off, I got these like double-sided ones. So basically the width of my drawers in um, the vanity are 11 inches. So these are exactly 11 inches across so i'm hoping that it's not like that this measurement is truly accurate for these and for the drawer and they actually fit because that would suck otherwise because i feel like these are going to be the most useful because i'm thinking like for like my single eyeshadows which i have a lot that i need to get rid of but like all here and then like i don't know i just feel like these are going to be the most useful ones like for concealers and powders and stuff um i actually wish they had more than just this but these were ten dollars each and then, um, and then I did like little combos. So like the, I got these and these, hold on, I need to change my battery, my bad. Like I was saying, so these are not the same size, but they sit side by side really good. And this one is four inches across. And this one is, um, oh wait. Oh no, I'm right, yeah. So this one's four inches across and this one is six. So together that's 10, so they'll fit in the drawer side by side perfectly. So for these, I'm thinking, Eyeliners, mascaras, like, I don't know, like skinny things, like lip liners, you know? Yeah, I do need, I need a better system for my lip liner. So like, this can be like eyeliners and this can be lip liners. And then this can be like mascara and my lipsticks are in the top of the drawer. So then this one can be like, I don't know, something else. But they like pair better together, you know, side by side. So I got those and these are in gray. That's the thing about these because they were from like home goods. I couldn't get them like all the same color, but they're inside the drawer. So I don't care that much. So they're like organized, you know? So these, these bigger ones were $6 and the smaller ones were $4 each. Also random, I got some coffee stuff. I got this French vanilla sugar-free syrup for my coffee and then a Belong. Is this called a Belong? How do you, what do you, how do you call this in Spanish? I fucking forgot. This is an Italian one, but like, you know, the, the, coffee pot you put on the stove for Bustelo and stuff. If you're Puerto Rican, if you're Cuban, if you're Latin, you know about this thing. It's the best coffee you'll ever have in the world. So if you don't have one, they're selling them at Home Goods for 10 bucks. This is a good size too. This can make you like you and your mama and your daddy and your boyfriend all a cup of coffee. And the one I have right now is just like one little cup. And when there's more than one person here, I'm like, oh, well, I guess I'll be standing at the stove making coffee for an hour. Thank you so much. Oh, I got another. Okay, so these are like the same size as the other well this one's 6.4 across and this one is four across or 3.69 across so basically the same concept but this one i was actually thinking for i actually don't remember but we'll see we just got a bunch of them basically and we're gonna see how it goes and then i got smaller ones these two i got for like bobby pins and for like hair ties you know or like rubber bands because i use like I shouldn't, but I use like rubber bands when I do like braids and stuff in my hair. And these were each $2.99. And then I also got this one. I figured maybe, th was this one the one I was gonna do concealer in? I honestly can't remember, but I got a bunch of them. Any of them I don't use, I'll return, but like, you know, I got a bunch. Anyway, this is completely unrelated to the video, but I know you guys will enjoy it. So I'm gonna include it. Okay, so this is, wait, I guess I'll just pull out a product and show you who it's from. <laughs> it's very exciting. I feel really cool right now. Are you ready? Are you ready, bitch? That's right. Your girl's on the Urban Decay PR list. So this is the Urban Decay Naked Honey. Oh my God. I haven't bought a new Urban Decay palette in actual years. Like last one I bought, I remember maybe like the Naked 3 palette or something. Well, I bought the Naked Heat palette before my mom for Christmas, but... Let's see, this is like fancy ass packaging. I did not expect it to come in a big old box. Like, oh, it comes with an eye primer. 
Wow, Urban Decay. Is this like how they sell them all the time or is this just like PR? I wonder, would that be dope to get? Oh yeah, I'm really into golds right now, so. Oh, this does not feel at all like the Urban Decay palettes I remember. Ooh, it is plastic though. Didn't they used to be metal? Whoa, the ultimate brush set and go off. What? I feel like these aren't normal like products from the website. I feel like these are like PR packaging. Don't you think? I feel like like a mailer. Oh yeah, this is absolutely a mailer. There's no way they sell this like this. It's basically a setting powder and they have a bunch of different shades. So they have fair, medium, dark, deep, and a universal like translucent one. So maybe we'll do a first impressions later on in the week or something. Like my last follow around with me, follow around, ugh, follow me around review type deal. Because in here we also have the new Naked Urban Decay uh, Stay Naked Foundation and Concealer. Oh no. Yeah, I fucked up. I picked the wrong shade. That is super light. Oh my God, I'm shocked. I thought it was gonna be too dark. Ooh, that was pigmented, that concealer. This packaging is gorgeous too. Love. And then a big old Urban Decay All Nighter. Can't go wrong. I haven't had one of these in a long time too. It's because this definitely was the first setting spray. Now the first setting spray I ever had was Model in a Bottle and that shit gave me a really bad allergic reaction. But I kept using it because I was like, oh my God, I need to, everybody else is. Hmm, smells like college. Okay, well that was a fun little haul. I actually, the sun is basically set and I actually want good lighting for this video. So I might just finish filming it tomorrow, like early tomorrow because I, my studio gets really dark at night and like the lighting in there isn't good. So I think I might just wait till tomorrow on that. Yeah, I guess I'll see y'all tomorrow. <laughs> I'm such a loser, but I don't know. I'm gonna try my hardest not to touch anything, like go up there and measure these things. Like I want to do it with you guys. So I guess I'll just see y'all in the morning. Hello you guys. So it is now the next day. I just put on a little bit of makeup for you guys. I'm actually still in like gym clothes and stuff, but I figured there was really no point in like fully getting ready to just clean. So we're here at my messy ass vanity. Actually, we're just in my messy ass studio. You can see around me, everything is messy, but today we're just gonna focus on this mess right here. This is my vanity. And as you can see, the vanity and the surrounding area is atrocious. We need to clean this up. So first things first, we're going to declutter, go through every single drawer, declutter and clean it. And then after that, we will decide how to organize this shithole. But see that garbage down there? We gotta get rid of a lot of stuff and organize it. Like look at all these hair products over here. Like that's just because this drawer of hair products is full. So we gotta figure it out. But this is your before shot, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, so I'm trying to think if I want to clean off the top first or go through the drawers first. I'm thinking clean off the top first because as I'm going through the drawers, I'm like gonna need somewhere to like sit it. So yeah, I think I'm gonna just do like a little montage style me cleaning the top of this vanity and then we will get into these drawers and declutter them. I'm excited about this. It is 12 p.m. I said good morning, good afternoon. It is 12 p.m. We will see how long this takes. And yeah, let's go into a high speed, fast motion montage now, let's go. Okay, you guys, obviously this isn't like clean, clean, but I kind of just needed to like clear space so that we can like work. Um, we will clean this again, which is maybe counterproductive, but like I really just need space to clean. But since we're gonna get like makeup all over this during this process, I'm not gonna like Windex it or anything right now. 
um, but I've got a trash bag down here that we will be decluttering into. Some stuff is going to be trash, and then I have like a little giveaway bin. I don't know if I'm, not necessarily a giveaway to you guys because I feel really weird giving you guys like used makeup. So I don't think that's the case, but if I don't, if there's anything like brand new, honestly, you guys can just message me and tell me if you want any of this and I will figure it out for you. Um, I just feel weird doing a giveaway of used makeup. I feel like that's super wrong, but let's get into these drawers right quick. Okay, I'm not gonna start with this first drawer here because it is basically lip liners and hair stuff. I really wanna start with the foundation drawer first because it's atrocious. I feel like it's gonna take way too long to like go through everything. So I think I'm just gonna speed this up, montage this part too, and then I'll show you what I'm keeping and what I'm not keeping. So let's hit it. Okay, you guys, now I'll show you what I kept. I'm just gonna put it back in this drawer for now, um, and then we'll organize it later. But I kept the two Charlotte Tilbury new Airbrush Flawless Foundations because I really like them. And then I kept my two shades of Infallible Fresh Wear from L'Oreal because I love those. I've got my Fenty Beauty here, my NARS Sheer Glow, keeping both um, two Giorgio Armani, Armani uh, foundations, the Power Fabric and the Luminous Silk, because honestly, I spent too much money to get rid of those. And I actually do like them. Um, same story, Dior Forever Wear. Also same story, two shades of my Hourglass Stick Foundation. I feel like now that I'm cleaning this out, like I'm gonna actually get so much more use out of my foundations. I've got two of the Maybelline Superstay in very two very different colors. 112 Natural Ivory and 128 uh, Warm Nude. But I can mix those or, you know, if I'm really pale, wear one. If I'm really dark, the other. Okay, so I've got these three l'oreal infallible this one is the glow i'm gonna definitely keep the glow because that's the only one i have but the whoa whoa i think i'm just gonna keep 104 because 102 i know i've had forever and 104 is definitely more my shade so i'm actually gonna put this back here i've got two shades of the covergirl true blend matte made love this foundation m10 and m20 one shade of the milani conceal and perfect in 03 i've got the bobby brown skin longwear weightless foundation in three I've got the All Hours Foundation from YSL. Wow, I forgot I even own this in B30 Almond. Um, this, oh my God, I last summer, I freaking love this stuff. It's the Isden Skin Drops. I totally forgot these even existed because they were all the way in the back. So I'm happy I found that. Then I got the Revlon Color Stain 200 Nude. That's a classic, gotta keep it. Huda Beauty, I love this foundation. It's like almost done, but like... I'm gonna get my use out of that because it was expensive and I love it. Um, I've got the Kat Von D Tattoo Locket. I love this to mix into other foundations to make it more um, high coverage. Same with the Huda. I don't really use that alone, but I like to mix it to make it fuller coverage. Then the uh, Maybelline Fit Me Matte Poreless. I love this stuff like on like an everyday basis, like casual. I've got two more stick foundations, the Makeup Forever. Love this stuff. And then the Wet n Wild um, Photo Focus Skin Fo or Stick Foundation. And this is very similar to the, to the Makeup Forever actually. Then I've got the It Cosmetics CC Cream, which is almost out, but I actually am wearing it today. So I really like this stuff for like casual days. And then also uh, Estee Lauder Double Wear. I forgot I had this too. It's almost out, but I do want to use it up because I love that stuff. And then I've got my two Kevin Aquan uh, Sensual Skin Enhancers in SX06 and SX09. I usually use more as like as like concealers kind of but they're so they're like basically like pure concentrated pigment so if i ever do want to make a, another foundation like more full coverage i'll just add a little bit of this so this is really great to have okay you guys this next drawer is crazy it's like my it's basically my face drawer it's got all of my concealers my powders my primers and my setting sprays it's a lot of stuff and i definitely need to reorganize this drawer to like split it up in a different way because it's just too much product in one drawer and like as you can see there's no way i can see all my products in here like there is no way that i'm getting like the most use out of everything in here so we're gonna clean it out first and then we're gonna figure out once we clean out everything like what to do with everything because there's just way too much shit in here
oh my god you guys this is why we're doing this video okay so like literally six months ago i bought the pat mcgrath fetishized mascara and i lost it i just completely lost it i literally was like it's in the abyss it's in the upside down like stranger things like it's gone i just fucking found it you guys oh my god and i swear to you this was like my favorite mascara like i saw it and or i bought it and i tried it and i was like oh this is this is my life i never have to buy another mascara again but because it was so expensive i never went ahead and like bought another one so oh my god i'm so happy i just found it oh my god this is why we're doing this video so i can rediscover my makeup that i thought i lost oh my god christina's gonna be so happy for me i have to text her right now oh my god brb <laughs> Okay, now that I've cleaned out the drawer, I'll show you guys what I'm keeping. And I'm also just gonna like put them in this drawer and then we'll reorganize later, like I said before. I've got two um, Bobbi Brown face bases because I love them. I've got this YSL like little compact, like pore minimizing primer. I don't think I'm actually ever gonna use this again, but I wanna keep it as like, I don't know, as decor kind of, just because it's like so pretty and like baby pink and gold. So we'll see, we'll see. Then we've got that new Charlotte Tilbury color corrector I used in that video a, a few videos ago and I actually liked it and I've been using it so I kept that. I've got three pot concealers, two NARS soft matte cream and the MAC Studio Finish. Um, the rest, I guess I can show you all the concealers I kept. <laughs> it's a lot i've got the Inval infallible full wear i've got a mary Kay concealer i got rid of the cc cream but i actually did like this concealer from mary Kay. the covergirl true blend undercover i like that the can't stop won't stop i had three of those but i just kept it down to one the same with the Co covergirl i had three and now i kept it to two um because one is more pink and one is more like yellow the instant adron maybelline classic can't get rid of that another classic mac pro long wear uh, i'm so glad that i like I'm cleaning this out because now I can like see everything and actually use them. I've got the Josie Marin Vibrancy. I actually like that. The ColourPop No Filter. The YSL All Hours Concealer because I want to give this another try. I forgot that I even had it. The e.l.f. Uh, 16 Hour Camel Concealer. Love that. And then I had three shades of the Tarte Shape Tape and two of them were basically empty. So I just kept this one in the shade Light Sand. And then... Uh, Oh, and then I have this like clearly brighter, this Garnier like under eye roller that I'll use like, you know, just to go to the gym and stuff. Um, then I've got a bunch of primers that I kept. I actually have, or let's go through powders first. Um, this one is a powder I developed at my old job. So I feel like I just have to keep that. There were some other things I developed at my old job that I got rid of, but that I can still use. So I kept it. I've got the little mini cover girl, uh, cover FX mattifying setting powder, which I like to take because it's like a mini size. I like to take this when I travel because it's a good one. I've got the Maybelline dream wonder the cover girl vitalist healthy powder i had two of those but i just kept one shade i've got this ciate london um, extraordinary translucent powder i've only used this like once so i'm going to give it another try i've got my sasha translucent setting powder love this stuff oh i think actually i think i put the rcma no color powder in here so i think this is the rcma no color powder actually um I've got the CoverGirl True Blend Minerals Translucent. I actually like this, so I kept that. Of course, my Maybelline Fit Me, which I'm going to need a new one soon. This one's always out. And then I kept the... Uh, oh, this is broken. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to get rid of this. I was going to keep it, but it's broken. So, <laughs> Rimmel Stay Matte Powder. I'll just get a new one because those are super cheap. Or the Beauty Bakery Flower Powder. Flower Baking Powder. And then for setting sprays, I actually didn't get rid of any setting sprays. Now that I think about it. Um, Morphe Continuous Setting Spray, uh, Too Faced Hangover RX. I've got the Primer Plus Hydrating 3 in 1 Setting Spray from uh, Bobbi Brown. I've got MAC Fix Plus. Can't go, can't have a vanity without some MAC Fix Plus. I've got this Makeup Obsession Fix It or Fit Fix, like that. And I've got the Milani Make It Last. I've got the Pixie Makeup Fixing Mist and a little mini of the NYX Matte Finish Setting Spray. That's almost out, but I can't get rid of that. I love that guy. This, oh my God, a throwback. I'm thinking of doing a video of like using all throwback like YouTube makeup products. So I found the Nivea um, Post Shave Balm in here. Got to keep that. I've got the YSL All Hours Foundation Primer that I want to give a try again. I've got two of my fave Dior Skin Forever and Everywhere primers because I used to keep one at my desk at work and one at home. So I still have two. I need to like just use one up so I can get rid of Urban Decay Optical Illusion Complexion Primer. I like that. Uh, Cover of X Illuminating, Illuminating Primer. And I've got two more Illuminating Primers. One from Becca and one from Kevin Aquan. I don't really illuminate that often, but 
I want to keep some just in case. I've got the Fenty uh, Matte Primer. I actually like that. And the Hourglass Veil Primer. I like that too. Got this Bobbi Brown Primer Plus Mattifier. Too Faced Hangover RX. I've got these that are almost run out, but they're like my two favorite primers ever, so I don't want to get rid of them. I want to actually use them up. The Makeup Forever Step 1 Smoothing and the Smashbox Pore Minimizing. And then I've got this Makeup Obsession Picture Perfect Pore Blurring Primer and a little mini of the Cover Effects Mattifying Primer, Beauty Bakery Baking Oil, and this Tarte um, Clean Slate Timeless Smoothing Pore Primer. I forgot I had this too, and I really like that stuff. And then I also in here had this MAC best response eye cream. I'm not going to keep it in here because I won't use it, but I'm going to put it in my kit just in case anybody that I'm like any of my clients need an eye cream. Like if they got crusty eyes, this will be good to keep in my kit. So I'm going to put that there, but that is it for this drawer. Let's move on to the next one. Okay, you guys, next up is the cheek drawer. <laughs> this is another drawer that I definitely have to separate and like figure out a better way to organize it because obviously this isn't working. I don't know half of the shit in here, so we're gonna go through it. We're gonna do it. <laughs> Okay, so I finished um, the cheek drawer and I think I'm gonna take this little box that was in the vanity and put all of the, you know, now that I've narrowed it down, I think it all can fit in a thing. I'm gonna put all of the blushes in one. Should I put all the blush? Yeah, I'm gonna put all the blushes in one box and then just to keep them like a little more organized. And then once we go through and organize the drawer, I'll figure out how I wanna lay it out. Let's also see how many blushes I have. And we'll decide like if this needs to be a, a big separate drawer or like if this drawer needs to be separated or if we can keep it all like just a cheek drawer, you know? Yeah, this is stressful, you guys, I'm tired. It's already like, it's been an hour and a half. Yikes. But we're kind of making progress if you ask me. I feel like I shouldn't like clean out every drawer with you. This video is gonna be a million years long. I think I might just go ahead and clean out the rest of the drawers myself and then we'll organize together because this video is gonna be so long. And like, I feel like the rest of the drawers other than like maybe palettes are gonna be pretty boring. Like you really wanna see me go through 40 mascaras. Okay, I'm gonna go finish up <laughs> decluttering and then we'll organize together because this is a lot, bro. It's a lot, bye. It's 5 p.m. I didn't even take that many breaks, but um, the drawers are complete. Now, to clean off the top again. So, since this video is probably 80 years long, I'm going to just montage it. I've gotta go through my brushes and get rid of some because honestly, I have too many. Like, these over here, in this little thing, that's the ones I use every day. These other ones, I rarely touch. So I've gotta go through them and get rid of some. And then I have to clean everything, clean those brushes because they're mega dirty and they need it. And then I think we'll wrap up. 
I'm so over this. Like my plan was to like clean the rest of this room, but like I am exhausted and I still need to edit this and get it up. This was, wow, I just found a whole bag of scrunchies that I didn't even know I owned. That's a problem with Amazon. You can get like 47 scrunchies for like a dollar when nobody needs that many scrunchies. Um, okay, so let's mon montage it up so we can be done with this. I'm glad I did it, but I hate everything right now. Okay, we're finally done. Doesn't this look so much better? And what I'm gonna ask you to do is to not expose the rest of my studio. Just like, also, yes, this happened. A black eyeshadow and an eyeshadow palette broke. So I've gotta get some rug shampoo and clean that. It's very unfortunate, but this is what she's looking like now. So let's go through the drawers and I'll show you how we organized it. Okay, so up top, so obviously we have all my brushes right here. Up top, we have lashes. I actually don't have that many lashes. We have a little fan to like fan my face when I do um, setting spray. We've got a lip balm and a lip scrub right here from Wet n Wild. These are just some random pills that like, like pain pills that I like rarely ever take, but handy to have. Um, lash glue and my crystals right here. This is a little lash case I keep like used lashes in that I wanna use again. A sharpener, a mirror, 
these are two lip balms another crystal this is my remote for my camera and here this is like one of the things i got at home goods and it's got like hair clips that i need to grab quickly when i'm styling my hair i've got these little coasters that i used to put foundation on rarely but i feel like now that they're like in my line of vision i'll use them more and then i put a thing here with all of my lip liners because this didn't change at all i actually didn't even declutter it um because i feel like my lipsticks are pretty decluttered um this is all my lipsticks over here and then I actually, I don't know, just something about these lip drawers. I feel like I can't even go there right now, but this is all my lip glosses and liquid lipsticks. <laughs> I actually didn't even touch these drawers, but it's fine, it's fine. Um, up here, top drawer, we have mascaras. I put these two side by side. We have mascaras, um, like cream, like eye bases, and then these are all eyeliners back here. We have eyeshadow um, primers and things. These are two gel liners and then brow stuff right here. Definitely declutter this a lot. Second drawer, we have all of my single eyeshadows and like small eyeshadow palettes. And yes, for some reason, I still have the Jaclyn Hill Vault collection. I just feel like I paid money for it and I should keep it, but I literally never use it. But I'm going to try. I'm going to try. So we have Makeup Geek, Charlotte Tilbury, Stila, Kaja. We've got a bunch, some pigments back here. This is an eyeshadow I developed at my old job. The first Desi Katie, Just a Colors collection. Um, a bunch of my Stila liquid shadows dried out, so I had to throw a lot of them away, which sucks. But this is that drawer. This drawer is blushes and highlighters. So we have this side is all blushes, and they actually fit pretty perfectly. Can't really buy any bl new blush anytime soon, which is fine. But now I can like actually see all of my blushes, so I'll use a lot more of them. And then this side is highlights, same thing. Can't really buy any more highlights anytime soon, but I don't need any apparently. But they fit perfectly in this like two sided one that I got. And then below that is my eyeshadow palettes. I definitely decluttered this a lot. I've just got like the James Charles palette, the 350 and the 3502 from Morphe, the Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette, two Z palettes with mostly Makeup Geek, and then I had the Kylie Royal Peach palette. I depotted it and put it in this one um, just to like save space. And then this new Wet n Wild one they sent me. I haven't tried it yet, so I kept it. The Naked Honey that I just got in PR yesterday, Urban Decay Naked Original that I will never get rid of now that it's discontinued, a NARS palette, a uh, Too Faced Natural Matte the Ele Urban Decay Electric palette I will also never get rid of and then the Huda Beauty rose gold palette which I will probably also never get rid of and then back there is like random like Halloween makeup contact lenses makeup remover there's just like a lot of room back there for like random stuff that doesn't really have a place so I put it all back there stuff I don't really reach for but I don't want to get rid of and then down here is all of my hair tools like straighteners um curling irons my waver my Dyson is over here in its own case but this is all of the rest of my hair tools I got rid of three flat irons <laughs> because they're all super old so this is a really big help like I can actually see all of them it's good and then other side we have top drawer this is hair brushes uh scrunchies back here my weave is also tucked in back here it's, this is hair ties that like aren't scrunchies like regular hair ties and then bobby pins on this side and little rubber bands like plastic elastics over here and i feel like this is gonna be so good <laughs> to like keep them all organized i'm so excited um so i do, did those two little ones and then i did um the long one and it fit really good and then the second drawer is just foundations i just kept them all like this because i like that i can like lay them all flat and i can see them all the only one that's like a second row is this one because i'm gonna try it tomorrow for a video for for you guys but it actually doesn't even go that far back it's like right here where i can see all of it and then a few just like two back there so i feel like i can actually see most of that when i pull out the drawer in here we separated this a little bit so on this side we have primers this is like literally all primers right here and then up here we have my three like brow carving pot concealers and then all of my like bottle concealers my pro longer is just standing up to kind of save space my two uh kevin aquan central skin enhancers are right here and then these are press powders some more press powders and then all loose powders and then i have those two urban decay ones back there that i'm going to try tomorrow i forgot that they existed when i did this drawer 
<laughs> so I had to tuck them back there but I'm gonna try out some of these powders and try to decrease like get rid of the few so that they all fit because I don't need that many loose powders when I really only ever reach for the fit me you know <laughs> and then this is a pretty empty drawer but it's good this is basically just I use this thin one just for bronzers and back here for these like this is a that contour stick or like that darker foundation that I used to cream contour rarely and then those two um, illuminating primers and then I just did setting sprays on this side because I can lay them all flat and actually see them all everything like you can see everything you know and then down here is just my hair products I actually decluttered this a lot but because I wear my hair straight and curly and wavy and weavy and edges and all that I have a lot of hair products but I like them to be all in a drawer so that they're not scattered everywhere I'm so glad that I don't have them on top of the vanity anymore and that's it you guys this was so exhausting like literally the sun is about to set and i still have to edit this and get it up for you guys so i hope you i really hope you enjoyed it because if you didn't enjoy it i'm gonna be very hurt and offended thank you so much give it a thumbs up i hope this inspired you to declutter your makeup collection because we could all use a little fall cleaning every once in a while i got rid of so much stuff like look at the, this is the pile of all the stuff I'm, that's not even garbage this is just stuff I can like give away and stuff so I'm probably gonna let my mom and like my friends go through it and then like literally if you saw anything in this video that you want just hit me up about it and I'll see if nobody took it I'll send it to you I really don't care um and then I'll try to maybe find like a shelter to donate it to or something um I just don't know if they take used makeup I also really have to clean all of my beauty blenders like they're all disgusting so I think I'm about to go do that now or I'll do it later after I edit this video because that really needs to happen right now if you're new here because i know i get whenever i do like a makeup collection video i always get uh new viewers if you're new here then make sure you hit the subscribe button before you leave i love you all so much and i'll see you in my next video